What's up, Oak? Russell Westbrook here, and today we are talking about the life and looks of the one and only myself. Hope you guys are going to enjoy them. I'm grateful for the experience, and let's do it. Mm. Draft night. Dang, seems so long ago. 2008. Colors were inspired by UCLA. It was a suit made by Alba. She did custom suits, and this is actually my first ever custom suit I ever had. So I was super excited about just getting tailored. The whole process, never done it before growing up. So I was, I was super grateful for that. Oh, that day I was very, very nervous. This was draft day. You know, I'm, I'm lucky enough now to still be playing in the NBA, but this is a day that changed my life, not just my life, but my family's. I would say I was very nervous and happy and excited all at the same time. Okay, opening ceremonies. I remember getting fitted for this and I was super hyped because I love double-breasted suits and being able to wear a polo Ralph Lauren is always great. That was my first, actually that was my second gold medal, being able to represent your country and also be stylish while doing so. You also see Candace Parker here. The vibe during the opening ceremonies are pretty amazing. You have an opportunity to be able to see what other countries were wearing and also you get a chance to be able to meet other athletes. So the Olympic experience overall is truly amazing and I was grateful to be able to be a part of it. Okay, yeah. Wedding day, one of the most amazing days in my life. My wife here, um, as you guys can probably see, she looks 20 times better than me. She's wearing Vera Wayne and I had on Tom Ford. I wanted a tail, like a long coat tail. I just love that look. I want to keep it clean, classic, but also be fresh. I've seen this picture in a while. Another great, great moment. This tonight I won the Most Valuable Player Award. 16-17 season at the NBA. Another night where I was super nervous, um, but excited at the same time. Funny story about this day is when I got my suit in the morning, I hadn't tried it on before. And this is why all my pictures were no jacket because when I put my jacket on, it didn't fit me, it was super tight, it was super snug. <laughs> Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just go without a jacket and you know, I still look clean and I was happy about that. But to this day, I remember this moment and remember everything about the day, the morning, just because it was such a crazy year, not just for me, but for my family, my friends, to be able to accomplish this goal. I did get a special thank you video, big Taylor Swift fan, and she was gracious enough to share a video and congratulate me on my award. I've definitely been to multiple Taylor Swift shows, tours, whatever. Um, I love her music. I'm a fan, so. I did this photo shoot for Christmas. I'm wearing my own brand, which is called Out of the Gift. I've always been connected in fashion. I always wanted to have an opportunity to be able to have my own brand, but have my own brand that meaningful, uh, that's impactful, that's inspiring. That's the reason why the name of the brand is called Honor the Gift, because I honestly and truly believe that everyone in the world has a gift and we all should honor whatever that is. Going to shows as a designer is different. I would say it's almost like basketball to me. It's very competitive. I'm a very competitive person and I want to make sure that I'm putting out product that people can relate to, um, that's affordable and also that uh, they connect with. And, you know, it's a, it's a great, fun process and I really enjoy it. <laughs> This was a day where I was just, you know, going with whatever, but I wanted to be comfortable and cozy. I had this sweater that was like half cut up, so I decided to just cut up more and then accidentally cut the middle too much and I just went with it and here we are. You know, fashion to me is like, it's, a, it's another way you can express yourself. And I am very emotional and scream and all these things on the court, but like off the floor, I'm just really chill and kind of laid back. And through fashion, I'm able to express myself. And definitely a two, it's a bit hard to show on confidence. I, I have this motto I use, it's why not? And it's something that been with me since day one and always try to use it to instill confidence, not just in myself, but other people. And yes, they're gonna be good reviews, bad reviews, but it doesn't really matter as long as I feel good about it. And I hope that it inspires people to wear and be outgoing and outspoken, whatever that is, and, and, and be confident in doing it. Eesh. Paris Fashion Week, Louis Vuitton, great look. I think overall Virgil, he opened the floodgates in fashion for many different reasons, but being African-American in the world today, being able to break barriers in fashion and do different things that he was able to do, inspired me on many, many different levels, not just in fashion, but just in life. And I was lucky enough to be at shows that he designed and I was, you know, I was able to, to cherish those moments. 
Who? Here we go. The Met. The Met. The place to be. I wore Ralph Lauren. Blue is my favorite color. And at this time, I already had I dyed my hair previous to becoming the Met. And I actually got some advice on kind of like, I, I was kind of going through looks and I was like, you know, oh, should I dye my hair? I went with it to match with my suit and the diamonds and the overall look. It took a while, the dyeing and the whole nine. I'm normally pretty easy and kind of moving around and kind of can, you know, easy going, but the med is like, turn right, turn left. Picture's here, then you have a steps and you stop in and there's interviews. You almost want to run up the steps and hurry up and get inside. <laughs> but you take so much time into your look and you want people to see it and you want people to make sure that they understand. Matt, once again, this time, and Tom Brown, and this was a look from, from start to finish that was designed particularly for this man and for me. And as we know, Tom is the best in the world as making kilts and long skirts. And it's something that I'm very comfortable wearing. My first one was, I think, uh, Jerry Lorenzo had one, Fear of God. And I wore it over some jeans one time. And Tom has, you know, been gracious enough to give me some things and put me in them and it works for me. Uh, so I'm able to kind of style it the way I want and be comfortable in doing it. The second Met Gala was totally different from the first. I knew what to expect, uh, number one. Um, and then number two, I was able to kind of move and kind of know how to move around the Met. And it's such a great experience overall, being able to walk through the museum and understand the why you're there and being able to just be invited. Even years prior to always be like, man, I wish I can go to the Met watching the looks, watching the red carpet. And I'm like, man, that looks though. Maybe one day I'll be able to get there and to be able to be there. It's a, a surreal moment for me overall. So I'm always grateful to be there. Oh, the last look. This was another iconic moment. Men's Fashion Week in Paris, Louis Vuitton, first Pharrell, William Show. The look came together really just how I was feeling. I was there and, and working a lot, but I was gracious enough to be invited to the show and be there to witness another moment in fashion and in culture. Overall, Aesthetica Collection to me was great. The music was amazing. The way that the show was ran and where it was at, the location, and I was happy to be able to be there to experience it. What's next for me? I'll keep, you know, serving some tunnel looks and looking forward to some, some great things there. That's all. Thank you guys for the opportunity. All the fans out there, thank you for your support. Continue to be inspired, be confident in all your looks, and we out.